Hey guys, it is Zaley Barclay of ZaleyBarclay.com. I'm the founder of the Start Street Grow Video Academy. And today we are talking about coupons and how you can use them in Thinkific to sell your online courses. So why would you use coupons? Coupons are a great way for you to put a discount on your course and you can even discount it for a specific amount of time and have that time expire automatically. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do that inside of the Thinkific platform. Today, I wanna show you this because one, someone in my Facebook group asked, hey Kaniqua, hey, thank you for asking this question. And the second reason that I wanna go through this with you is because Black Friday is coming up and, or even if Black Friday is passed and you're watching this video you might be having a sale a birthday sale or an anniversary sale or something with your online course and I'm going to show you one of the ways that I do this in my own Thinkific school let's get into it okay guys so let's jump into coupons and where you can find them in your Thinkific dashboard so you want to scroll down into market and sell and when you hit market and sell you'll see coupons so there is you know sales widgets orders affiliates all of those things right and you will hit coupons in there now when you do hit coupons what will happen is that you will see coupons now if you're just starting your account or just getting into here for the first time definitely look at these little prompts that thinkific has here it's really really helpful and so with coupons, what we can do is we can set expiry dates. So that means that it's gonna be a specific time for that coupon to expire, which is exactly what Kaniqua asked about. Black Friday is coming up and she wanted to know how can she expire or use coupons that expire inside or Actually, I don't even think, I think she asked just how do I get courses to expire at a specific price? Because a lot of my courses do that, right? You sign up and then access or ability to buy that course expires. And so I use a coupon in order to do that if I'm doing something like a Black Friday sale. So uh, you can name your coupon, right? So I'm going to name my coupon a video. Right, and then you can set an expiry date here. So what you want to do is choose the date. So let's say I want this to end on Friday, the 22nd, I can set it for that time, right? So those are the details of the coupon itself. And next we're gonna head into discount configuration. So I am going to hit continue just so that those props disappear. And so now what I love about discount configuration is that you are then able to take a specific amount of money off. Now you can take money off or you can take a percentage off. So let's say I wanna take 50% off because I just don't wanna calculate that amount, that is totally fine. But you can also take a dollar amount off, which is so, 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 so good. So here's the other thing uh, that I forgot to mention with your expiry date. If you leave this with no date, right? So if you hit clear, that coupon will go on without expiring, right? But if you have a specific date, like I said, you want to make sure you hit that date and also be mindful that this is in UTC time. Okay, so I am going to choose $150 off and I'm gonna leave it as that dollar amount and you can leave this for all products or you can apply to a specific course or product. So if you look here, you can see that I have a few courses here and I can uh, select specific courses or I can apply it to all my courses. So if you are having a Black Friday sale or a birthday sale or something specific, you can apply 20% off of all of your courses, right? Or if you want a specific course, you can apply a certain amount off of one specific course. Now, the last part here is coupon codes. You want to make sure that you put a code. So one thing that I used to get confused with is the name <laughs> of the coupon and the code, right? So the code is what's going to go on the end of the URL tag, right? And when you have that tag, what it does is it goes to that specific coupon code. So you want to pick a unique code like they're saying here so that your students will apply on checkout and receive their discount. So coupons work in two ways. You can use it, you can send a specific URL or you can, and I'll show you how to do that in a few, or you can just have someone enter their code on checkout, right? So I am going to pick a code here. Now your code can't be the same. So let's say I'm choosing cyber package. 
right? Um, that means that this code is specific to this specific coupon. So you want to make sure that you pick a code that, you know, you, you can remember easily, um, something that's probably relevant to the sale that you have going on and just something that's also not too long. So I might just use a cyber here as well, right? And then you can also put a quantity or a number. And you can see here when I hover, it says leave blank for unlimited coupons. And so for me, if it's a Black Friday sale or a birthday sale, there's no limit. So I leave it blank. So I'm just gonna hit continue here. And then I'll be able to save this coupon. All right, so let's head over into the section where I show you that link. Oh, but before we head there, you can see all of that information here and you can edit this coupon if you want to. And you're able to just hit here to delete it as well. All right, guys. So before we head into understanding the actual link, I wanted to take you over to understand what UTC time is. So UTC time is coordinated universal time. And the reason why I'm showing this is because that's the time that Thinkific uses for your coupons. So what you would need to do is you would need to compare your time to UTC time. So I am central time. I live in Texas. And so it is 629 UTC time, but in Texas, it is actually 131, right? So you need to make sure that you are checking to see what date. So you want to do UTC time to, um, let's see, to, I would do CST because I am central and so you can see now it's 6 31 and um you know for me it's 1 31 in the afternoon so you want to make sure that you're translating or converting that time so that it aligns with the time that you are actually ending your sale so you want to know what is i would say um 12 p.m or 12 a.m. So if your sale is ending at 12 a.m., you would need to set it to be up by 5 a.m. UTC, right? Let me know if that makes sense to you guys, but this is just a really important part of the process that I wanted to make sure that I shared. All right, guys. So, you know, I got to bring you over to the Start Shoe Girl website to show you how I use coupons just so that you can understand all of what we just did. So the first thing is that you would use coupons when you would like to create an experience. So for me, I have a free class on the website, right, about creating video content obviously. <laughs> and so what I wanted to make sure to do here is when you click on that button and you just, and you get to this class, this class has a coupon already activated. So what I did was I added the coupon link that you can see here inside of that original button over on the Start True Grow Academy, right? So I wanna make sure that you can see that. So here I have that link and that's the link that I used on the button and it's also the link that I would use in my emails or anywhere that I'm sharing this specific course. So you can see that uh, to do this, you would need to see the, you would need to have, sorry, the Thinkific URL, right? So you need that URL for that course, which is uh, www.learn.starshagrow.com forward slash courses forward slash SSG formula. That's the link for the course. So if I take this link only, right, and I copy it, you are, I hope, did I hit, I, I was like, did I hit copy? <laughs> and I, uh, I press paste, you're going to see the original price for that course. So it's not going to be discounted if you click on it right? And shout out to the people that we can see enrolling right now. You guys are absolutely amazing. You guys know how I feel about my students. <laughs> so what I want to do is I'm going to hit over here, um, sign up for this free experience today, and it would take me to the course with the coupon. So you can see here, the rest of this that's not highlighted is coupon is sorry, question mark coupon equals, and the code is take action. So if you remember here, our code over here was cyber, right? So we're not using the name of the actual coupon, we're using the code. So I want you to keep that in mind. So 
when you have your course link or URL and you do question mark coupon, you put equal and then you add the coupon code. And that's how you do it. Now, the other way obviously to use coupons is, for example, over here, I have an online course. Now here you can see the value of this online course is $200, but today you can get it for $27. And guys, this is a real co uh, course, so definitely head over there. It's only $27. It's on the Start Shoe Girl Academy page. You can find it right there, <laughs> right? Um, and it helps you create the core or the heartbeat of your online course in five days. Now listen, what I want to show you is that when you click on the button to sign up for this course, this is another place that you can put a coupon in. So if I had a coupon in, then I can, you know, um, or I if I had a coupon for this course activated, I could just put that coupon in here. So those are the two ways you can use it. I think it's so efficient though, to just give your person the coupon with the code already in it. And here you can see that. So this full thing, is the coupon with the code. And when you put it like this with the URL, it shows up saying 100% off the original price. And I just love that, right? Which means this is free, but if it was 50% off, obviously this would be a different price. But I, I just wanted to show you guys how this works. Now, I don't have an expiry date for this because it's always free. And so it stays that way until I take it down, right? But you know, if you had used that time, that expiry right there, right, expires on a specific date, then you would no longer have access to the page. So this is one way that I use coupons. There's a whole other way that I use it with a tool that I love called Deadline Funnels. And maybe I'll show you guys that another time. You guys know I have so many things, uh, you know, that I can share based on online courses. But this one is, you know, Pretty simple, you can use this with Thinkific out of the box. I think you do have to be on the, I wanna be sure that I'm saying this, you have to be on the basic plan, right? To be able to access this. So just making sure that I'm sharing that with you guys. But yes, and I think it's just it's so amazing. It's so awesome. So you would have to be on the basic plan. I'm not too sure how much the basic plan costs, but you know, that's the only thing. But honestly, using coupons, you can make your money back easily, darling. So you don't want to let um, something as simple as that stop you. However, I have one free month of Thinkific and I will leave that down in the comments for you. I just checked it. And so basic is $39, right? Which is not bad at all, <laughs> right? So listen, I am here for you. If you need anything, definitely let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're looking to use Thinkific for your own online courses, definitely use my coupon down, my coupon code, um, you know, my Thinkific coupon code, my Thinkific affiliate code <laughs> down below if you enjoyed this video. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm so excited to have you here. If you have any more questions about Thinkific, definitely leave them down below. I'm also gonna add my own Thinkific affiliate down below just so that you can even test out Thinkific to see if it is the course platform that you should be using. And be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.